everyone it's Heather and I am here to share with you my first card and I'm super thrilled because I think it came out super great um, this is layered three times and this is um, this butterfly I made dimensional so it, um, it opens up a little bit then I have this saying right here I haven't actually begun to do the inside this is my very first car with Stampin' Up! so I wanted to share that with you I was sitting down playing with it today and um, so I just wanted to show you real quick um, first of all I have the Butterfly Basics is the stamp set that I'm using and with that the Butterfly Thinlet Dies and this I actually you can buy this as a bundle I'll put all the codes and all the information for for you um, so you have that and I also used um, the brights some of the brights and this one is um, melon mambo and I also used pumpkin pie and I'm not an orange fan but I used orange and I, I love it and old olive so I'm learning to like some colors that I've never used before and let me tell you um, this is only two of the examples of where I messed up so sometimes it see this one this is yeah I stamped it upside down and then this I was just uh, doing some practice so I had to do this several times before I actually um, was able to do that um, let me I already pre-cut all the papers but I will tell you um, Darn it, I need to. This is a this piece here is 10 by 7 and this is an A7 card, size A7. And then the this black piece is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And the top white piece is four and a half by six and a half. And I'll also put all that information down below. So first of all, you're gonna score your card and fold it over, which is what I did there. But, um, and then you do the layering. And this one goes on top of this one. And what I did was I took my die and I uh, cut it out, first of all, in my Big Kick. So I'll just, um, you know, I don't have a big shot. I'm wanting to get one. So I'll just go ahead and put that through. And the blue tape that you see on top holding the die is just that painter's tape. And I don't, I always hear we say use post-it notes or post-it notes are kind of hard for me to use. Um, or they use their um, washi tape. And I'm just not a fan of using up my washi tape that way. <laughs> and this is pretty cheap. And this piece I keep, um, where's my paper? This piece I just keep on the back here. And then so when I'm not, after I've torn it all up, but you can still use it. So I use it over and over again. So there's that piece that goes on the black like this. Then of course I take my butterfly and put, I bend it to the wings a little bit. Of course I take out all the little papers and glue it on there, but I'll show you, show you how I do that. Put that to the side. I'm trying to get all these little doodads. I, absolutely love um, these butterflies. The thing that gets me, Stampin' Up's products are super, super quality products. I used lots of stamps and lots of different inks before, um, but when I was stamping these flowers, I was just amazed at um, how beautiful they came out. So. I have that flower stamp here and let me tell you I smudged so many times it was not funny I usually have a wipey handy but I'm just gonna go through this real quick hopefully I can do it without making too much of a mess and then after I cut out my butterfly I just simply stamped my flowers on there did that come out pretty let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you could see that better and on the other side, I want to make sure I get full coverage. And even if I don't get full coverage, it's okay. And this one came off to the side a little bit, and I liked that effect. I really did. So there I did 
that. And as you can see on this card, on the back of one of these cards, I had to test this one a little bit. This one I used the Melon Ma Mambo. I love this color. I'm trying not to get that on my card. As you can see, it did stain. <laughs> it did stain my stamp a little bit. That's okay. Oops. So we'll, I'll try to do this right the first time. But see, I have to test it because I, for some reason, am not getting the the best ink coverage on this one stamp. Ta-da! I did it. <laughs> Put that to the side. And I love their how their stamp pads open up. So this is my very, 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 oops, first card. And I just, yeah, did that. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, well, I'll fix it in a minute. Then I took this little stamp, and this one is, that's the flower that I did, and that's, the, this is the next thing that I'm doing here, the little postmark. And I just, I want to make sure I have it the right way. And then I just put it there to the side. And I was so super thrilled. And then I took my butterfly that I cut out. I wanted it to kind of match all the colors on here. So I took it and I took my little daubers. I'll take, I'll do the orange. Well, actually, I think I'll do the orange first since I already have it open. And I just kind of splotched it all over. As well as I, the pink melon, the melon color. Just kind of splotched it all over. The green. No rhyme or reason. And then I took, I took the orange and I kind of distressed the edges with the orange. And I liked how that looked. Orange, I can't believe it because I'm not, I'm not a fan of the orange actually. So I'm hoping I can get this back together. Okay, so there's my butterfly. There's my piece there. And then I just took my, um, I don't have my Tombow glue yet. I have that coming. So just use a generic glue to attach. Come on. To attach uh, my one page to the other. Kind of even, try to even that up. And there's that. And see, that dried pretty quick because I would have been smearing that. And then I just took the center of my butterfly. Super easy. And I have always confessed to you guys that I am not a card maker. And I just love how this one came out. And that's all there is that's all there was to that and if I wanted to I could have put the this made this a birthday card and used the happy birthday in this stamp set um, I'm loving loving how that came out super fun and then I just need to make the card part and put that on the card I'll just get that real quick so we can do that to finish it up and I put the sizes on there. I can erase that off of there. And then just attach that on the top. So there's my card. Easy peasy. And it looks gorgeous. I love this olive, old olive color. That is so super, super pretty. Love that. Um, I am loving that. So there is my card. Wanted to share my very first card with you guys that I made. I think it came out so pretty. And so I will probably most likely be giving this away to somebody. I hope you'll go to my channel where I'm, I'm going to start putting these on and give me a thumbs up. Um, and um, continue to 
uh, go along with me on this journey. I am going to still be talking to you about having that giveaway so that I can, um, I have some things that I need to, to let go of and some things that I've purchased just for that reason. So I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.